In this tutorial, you'll change the colour of the cat in the image shown. Select the area containing the cat's fur. Use the fuzzy select tool, or the scissors select tool, or even a combination of both. Do this carefully as a poor selection will result in a poor outcome. This selection can also be done with care by using the free select tool and clicking frequently along the edge of the cat. It's not effective with large gaps between clicks. Once satisfied with the selection region, it's a good idea to save that selection to a channel. Select Save to Channel. Selections are saved to channels so that the selection can be used at a later time. If it's not saved to a channel, then it will be lost when it's deselected using Select None. Open the Channels panel in order to confirm the selection has been saved there. If it's not visible, then choose Dialogues, Channels. Notice the shape of the selection in white on a black background. Change the name of this channel to Fur. Notice that this file contains a channel called Eyes. We can use it to remove the cat's eyes from the selection by right clicking on the Eyes channel and choosing Subtract from Selection. Add a new layer, layer, new layer, and name it New Color 1 and set the layer fill type to transparency. With the appropriate selection made, select the layer called New Color 1. Select a foreground color for the fur by double clicking on the foreground color icon. This will open up the change foreground color window. Drag the new foreground colour into the selection. The new colour 1 layer should only use the mode colour, that is its hue and saturation, and not its value. This causes the value of the lower layer to come through and be shown with the colour of the upper layer. The overall effect keeps the shadows and contours of the cat's fur but shows them in the upper layer's colour. In the Layers dialog, click on the drop-down list for the new Colour 1 Layers mode and select Colour. It's the second last in the list. The cat's colour has now been changed. Add more layers to try more colours, repeating these last few steps. Turn the colours on and off by using the eye icon in the Layers panel.